guys welcome back to my channel today i was getting ready to go and meet my friend uh, we have a function so i was getting ready and i quickly thought of you know showing you how i am getting ready so this is how i get ready guys uh, so quickly i belong to a deep skin tone not the deepest but the, to the deeper side i will lean towards a deep side of skin tone and i belong to a dry skin category and i prefer thick moisturizers like uh, the one cetaphil so yeah guys what i was telling is if you are someone who belongs to a dry skin family like me then you can prefer this one or if you are someone who belongs to oily skin and uh, someone who don't love a thick moisturizer then you can check out cerave and uh, neutrogena hydro boost something like that but i always prefer a thick moisturizer so try this out if you belong to dry skin yeah so once that is on then i use this primer to prime my face uh just the places where i have a lot of pores which is here and forehead and that's it so once this is on i'm going to use this foundation this is in the shade uh hazelnut just a pump will do idile adhigam i think this is a lot but this will do right i'm just taking a very tiny a peanut size of foundation This is in a runny consistency, but uh, if you like sum it up, this comes to just a peanut size. Yes, get some light. All right, I'm using this brush from Real Technique. This is very good for me, so I'm just taking the foundation and the brush and applying it. just trying to keep this look very very minimal and i just cut it down the color correcting and stuff because i'm not the person who daily correct color correct my face right if i have any occasion or function yes of course i do color correct but not on a daily basis And for concealer, I'm going to use this from Flower Beauty. My eyes, if you could see, there is a shadow going on under my eyes, so I'm just trying to correct that. Right over here, a little bit. and i'm buffing the same with the concealer brush i'm concentrating the product basically i'm not distributing it all over I'm going to take this powder in this brush like this and pinch out any extra and I'm going to set my under eyes. I try this technique if you are someone who don't want a lot of powder then I think you can try this technique just take the powder with the help of a eye shadow brush then set your under eyes. Okay once I set my under eyes then I would use a light powder a banana shade to set the overall face for which I'm going to use this one from NYX you can use a brush or you can use a sponge I'm going to use this one 
just going to take a minimal amount of powder nothing crazy like this and set my under eyes very light handedly because this powder gives a bit of shine which I'm not so liking it's not shine actually uh, a silky kind of finish which is not looking good in my skin so I'm not doing the powder I have already done my eyebrows but still I am just perfecting it a little bit because I have done it a long back now I could see there is a lot of gaps in between the brows so I am quickly doing that. Now I am going to finish the look using a kajal. This is from Nykaa and this is in the shade Chai, this one, this is a mini version. I am going to take the same shade a little bit to my cheeks also but you can just finish the look as it is but I am just thinking to add a little bit of warmth so I am just using the same shade to do my blush So finally if you have a fixing spray or a setting mist you can just spritz it. I'm using this one from MAC. I just love this. I'm just putting it all over my face and leave it for a while. So one tip while you are using the MAC setting spray is you have to wait until 